one of the most unique features of the first dinosaurs was how they moved. Did this type of locomotion and the adaptations of the body which allowed it appear all of a sudden? No. As one studies the archosaurs of the Triassic, one can see gradual transitions. First, in, in body posture. The ancestral condition of the archosaurs was a strolling body posture. Many archosaur groups had evolved the ability to walk erect so that the uh, abdomen was held uh, off the ground as they moved. Some went further and had evolved a bipedal stance. In some groups of archosaurs, the legs had become increasingly longer and the arms shorter as seen in the first dinosaurs. The hip joints were modified in many archosaur groups and in some the dinosaurian condition of having elongated processes on the pubic and ischial bones is observed. Some had uh, evolved a partially open hip socket which would be the ancestral condition of the completely open hip socket of dinosaurs. We see elongated toes so that essentially uh, the foot uh, that was uh, touching the ground during locomotion was essentially the uh, digits of the toes. There was a very modified ankle joint which could only flex and extend and had its two main bones, the astragalus and calcaneus, associated with the bones of the lower leg and the joint uh, at the ankle occurring beneath these bones. All of these were very special conditions of the dinosaur legs, but as one observes the Thecodonts and archosaurs of the uh, Triassic period, one can observe gradual transitions going towards this dinosaurian condition.